Here is a step that will really make your Prezi interesting and captivating. Creating paths. Paths are easy to create, and you only need to be aware of a few things before we begin. First, you can create a path to anything you add to your Prezi, such as an image, a shape, or a frame. Frames, which we learned about in the previous video, are extremely helpful in creating paths. Let's explore creating paths. Find and click the Path tool at the top left corner of the screen. There are three options, Add, Delete All, and Capture View. Click Add so that it is highlighted in yellow. The only image we have is the solar system, so we can create our first path to it. You may need to zoom out once for this to work. Roll over the picture until you see it outlined, then click once. A blue circle with the number 1 should appear in the middle of your image. If we click play at the bottom right corner of the screen, we will see what happens. Click the right arrow to advance the presentation. Nothing happens. This is because we only have a starting point for our path. That's OK. Click End to go back to the workspace. Go back to the Path tool and click Delete All. This deletes all paths you have created. Now, let's make the path using the hidden frame we placed during the last video. The circle still appears in the middle of the image and clicking play yields the same result. Let's add some more paths. As an example, let's say we want to talk about Earth in more detail after we discuss the solar system. Make sure Add is still highlighted, then click the circle frame around Earth to add the path. You may need to zoom in to better see the outline circle. Since Earth is not a separate image, but part of a larger image, we must use the frame if we want to create the path to Earth. Let's add some more before we preview our Prezi. Let's go to Mars next. How about we go to Jupiter after that? Then Neptune. And then space travel. If we want to end where we started with the whole solar system for closure, we click the solar system frame again. The final number will cover up our original circle. That's OK. Let's see how it turned out. Click the preview button. Prezi should zoom in and out for each item we created a path for. Let's try it. If you decide you want to change the path, click End to go back to the workspace, then go back to Path, and select Delete All. You are able to click and drag the numbered path circles, but most of the time it is easier to just start over. Let's look at another example. Delete everything, including the solar system image. To do this, you have to go out of the path tool, so click the arrow at the top left corner of the screen to go back to the main tool image. Now we can delete everything we have created. Let's practice creating paths with the organizational chart we saw earlier. Go back to Insert, and then Organizational Chart, and for our purposes in this video, we will choose the first one. Go back to Path and choose Add. We want to start with the big picture, 
so click the bracket frame around the chart. This again makes a number one in a circle in the very middle of the image. Now watch as I create a path that I think will work. Notice I clicked on the circle around the word head and not the word itself. Making the path to the word will zoom in on head and not the entire circle or frame. This is why it is important to understand how and why to use frames. Let's continue. Again, you may need to zoom in and out to see the objects outlined when you roll over them. Before we preview, click the Home button on the right side of the screen. This sets everything back to the home image. Now let's preview. Keep pressing the right arrow until you get back to where you started.